Um, what is CTE going to look like, particularly some of those hands-on CTE courses like welding and auto tech? Um, are the specific examples from the question? And then if you can also touch on, there's questions about uh, dual credit ACC courses, UT on ramps specifically. Camille Clay and Jamie Everett have been working very hard uh, with our CTE teachers over the last few weeks. Um, our, of course, the teachers want to make sure that our students can continue their learning. And so they have been participating in PLC conversations and reaching out to their students as well. And so while some of the CTE courses may look a little different, um, what they are doing is they're working with those teachers to see how can we continue the learning as remote learning. Um, for those students who may have been ready to do some certifications, um, what they are planning on doing is they are committing right now to continuing to work towards those certifications, even if that means we have to work through them into the summertime. Um, as far as our advanced academics courses like um, some dual credit and some on-ramps courses, and so um, I know Jennifer um, gave an explanation of what some of the high school schedule may look like. It may differ for those two, if you're in one of those courses. If you're in a dual credit course with ACC, then you began your online coursework this week. So you should have received an email from your teachers there and were able to get online to begin your online coursework um, starting Monday. Um, you will continue that through the spring and um, I believe this summer as well, ACC is moving online. So if anyone was planning on taking a dual credit course this summer, you will be doing that online. For on-ramps, on-ramps will continue. Your high school teachers will be partnering with your professors. You need to be checking your Canvas regularly because that's going to be the primary mode of communication for on-ramps. Um, you may see a bit more um, communication there and a different type of learning that you might be expected to do because it is a dual enrollment course which means you have the option to take that college credit and so you will need to be able to check that regularly to get information from your professor both your college professor and your high school teacher and um, your high school class would work much like what we are choosing to do with all the others as far as pass and complete and then your college uh, credit and coursework would be um, uh, given to you by your college professor from UT. I have a child that was supposed to be tested for disability services and then all this happened. What can I do to reach out to our Leander ISD teams to make sure that the student doesn't fall through the cracks? Um, so starting Monday, we will move into phase two. So we've gotten a lot of questions about, um, you know, I haven't had anybody reach out to me or, you know, we've been in phase one and so those are just practice activities. Starting on Monday is phase two. So that's when we um, we'll have all of the individualized plans ready to go for each of your students. Um, and so the evaluation timeline also starts back up on Monday. So if your student was already in the process of receiving an evaluation, we will be reaching out to you directly um, so that we can talk with you and, and work on a plan on what's going to work best for your student. So if your student was already starting um, in the evaluation and assessment process, we're going to pick that right back up together um, so that we can continue to meet the needs of your students.